All right, guys, I want to I wanna show you something. So I posted a picture on Reddit. This is my tier 7 comp. So these are 80 builds. Okay, for seven, 6 or 7 man party. So healer, of course, healer. You have a tank with the switch gear. So it's like PvP, PvE, obvious. You can mix now. Okay, 100 arcane. Then you can, yeah, carving. And then you can mix your DPS, like fire, life curse, um, <coughs> um, crossbow, or you can, instead of crossbow, you can go whispering bow. Yes, whispering bow, why not? And I got so much hate for this picture. Let me show that for you. Let me show that to you. <coughs> 37 commentaries. I I posted this that like five days ago. I would never think that it receives so much hate. <coughs> like it's like Okay. I see you trying to get money from whoever follows your comp. What? That means he thinks I post that to make people int. Interesting. <coughs> How about one mace with two fists and one bracer? All of them are 6'2 to 2.3. You want to be able to clear to six charges. Yeah, makes sense. Trash builds. My fallen brother, that is definitely a bad PvE build then. As someone that's been in Rhodes Guild since the road came out. Tree, just, etc. Those builds are not suited for PvE nor PvP. It's overall a bad combination and uh, should be used f shouldn't sh should not be used for anything beside yellow zone dungeons. Okay. Someone who is who who, who seems to be experienced ex experienced Rhodes player this commentary Made me speechless. Now do a budget version. Y you can remove all. You can buy all the sets in tier seven. <clears throat> These builds are obviously for PVE on the chests. This sub lacks brain power. This post just. <laughs> This post just proves how experienced you actually are. Maybe ask your sugar gay daddies to help you make proper builds next time. I'm uh, running a successfully small small scale guild with good PvP people. And I actually think a lot too much about comps. I'm trying out a lot. And I bet this guy never been to my stream. Never. He probably never even watched something of me. Just heard maybe a bit of stuff and yeah. Why would why would you out of all people do something like this? They are so shocked! These builds are not good for PvP nor for PvE. As a content creator of this game, people might look up to you and get shit on because they follow something like this blindly. Yeah, I hope they follow this and then they will clear finally. I won't receive messages on my stream. Oh, we cleared the gold and the tier 8 chest with 20 people! No, you can clear it with tier 7 gear with seven people and get instead of five loot five million loot you can get 12 million loot but yeah 
I'm such a bad person. Oh my gosh. I was speechless reading this commentaries. Your fire is gonna draw on energy real quick. You should definitely have the druid, a coal, or maybe even crab omelets. The fire built. Dip, 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 dip. Fi uh, wildfire, mist color, martlock cape, murkwood, fail scare rope, and assassin shoes. Like any leather shoes on the second sprint on cooldown reduction. Um, so. Uh, this dude is uh, thinking and this fire stuff is playing with Q, 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 Q with the uh, spam Q. But this fire is not playing with the spam Q. We have a tank with the stun. He will deal his AoE skews on the silences, on the stuns of the tank. And besides that, kite around, we're playing a kite comp, we're never standing still. For that also the fail skill ropes. Except on the whispering bow because there I think it's better attack speed and it's also leather rope. Um, so he's a bit more tanky at least than the clothies. But he is so bad he will run um because we don't have two druid ropes in our backline. Yeah. No, I'm running one Merkut on one of my backliners just for protection. If they get, if they manage to get through all the fail skill ropes or they are on cooldowns, this comp lets room for mistakes. Let's say, oh, two, two range GPS used both of their fail skill ropes. The um, melee enemies can just run through. Then the fire staff can press this Merkut. What is the smart code doing? Reducing the damage. Then we have two Judies. If they're using that in, in the Judy, it's it's whatever. And the healer. The healer is healing in Judy. Do you know how much he heals in a Judy? No, because you never thought about this build. Let's continue a reading. So no, the fire is never um. Your healer is super squishy, bad, and he's one and has one big defensives and one smaller defensives, both on long ass cooldowns. As a frequent healer, I would never use this build ever. Also, Druid Call likely won't keep up with its mana usage. It will. I played it. It's your seven. We won against you eight, eight once, and it's working. Um, this healer build has uh, theoretically five defensives if you can play. Martlock cape for worst case engage. You have bad positioning, you make a mistake, you're too much in the front lane. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. You are super squish, yes. You are playing with this... Uh, how is it? Rauchschwinker, it's in uh, German. It makes you squishy, but it also gives you more healing. So, we have one role specifically to protect our backline and the healer. The one-handed arcane here in the left corner. The one-handed arcane is mostly shielding the healer. Imagine a healer with a shield who's squishy, but because of the shields, he's not squishy anymore. Plus Judy, plus royal rope. You are a healer, tier 7, with specs. You're standing in a Judy with royal rope. You're healing about 1k. 1k with 1q. Um, in the only the royal rope you're healing I think about 750 and only 1q without any buffs. 1q. 
yields for about 600, 600 to 650, one Q. If I am in my PvP set with cleric rope full cloth, 6-3, awakened hellofall, um, with healing cast, with ability... I'm healing a 680, I think, but it's a 20 million weapon. And the 4-3 hellofall is... 350k? 400k? Roundabout? Yeah, such a bad comb. I'm... Uh, okay, let's continue reading. Seems to be pretty experienced healer if he's only running one build and never trying new stuff. Okay. Whispering bow lol. Whispering bow lol? What's wrong with this build? For better kiting, he has a night helmet. Um, he's resetting all the cooldowns, not only of him, so means he's resetting one of the fail skill uh, rope cooldowns. Rest pots. And he's um, just like bullying the front lane. The like imagine the one-handed arcane is perching uh, Helion jacket, and the whispering bow can just finish him. Even in tier 7. Okay, let's continue. Light crossbow's gonna get smacked once he pops those royal sandals. If he tries to use it as a defensive, it does also gonna pierce himself. Yeah, but you're not supposed to stand as uh, range DPS in the front lane, so... It's fine. Life curse is okay, but cursed skull is better as a DPS, in my opinion. If you're gonna use it as a support, just judicate to armor. No, this is not a support, this is a DPS build. You can see it on the cloth. On the clothy. I uh, like the life curse because it's also perch. It's perch damage. I never played that stuff actually, but if you read that, that's interesting what, what's everything doing. But yeah, Cursed Skull could be also a good option. I agree with that. Um, this is fine. One handed arcane is rarely used in roads. A great arcane, sometimes enigmatic, is a better. No, it's not. Not in this comp. A great arcane is you, uh, great for kiting, for preventing enemies of engaging to save your teammates maybe but I don't we don't need this in our party I'm using the one in the arcane for a purchase for group purchase and uh, support the backline and enigmatic would be definitely worse you can use it, I don't know, 50 men plus. Then you could go enigmatic. Carving another one race looks solid, at least carving might run out of energy if it's using AOE Q though. Consider mana sprint. No, you don't need because we have, as I said, two tree drops. Sometimes even three. Lots of people use a heavy mace instead of a one hundred mace. True, but we're playing a kite build, so the one in that maze has a one extra stun. So the range DPS can play the. If you imagine the fight, you need more stuns. So also the the tank is running for PVP usually on omelets. The average IQ on Reddit is about room temperature, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Not really worth it.
пуляш без тени, заливай лит, поцелуй на шее. Э, э, как там рад, правда назад, черный каскад. Вижу твой взгляд, стерли на гаяр, мог тебя взять, но ты не моя. Тогда тебе пацана посчитать потери, суммы нули погибать на сцене. Снова один, пуляш без тени, заливай лит, поцелуй на шее. Э, э, как там рад, правда назад, черный каскад. Вижу твой взгляд, стерли на гаяр, мог тебя взять, но ты не моя. Черный каскад, вижу твой взгляд, стерлинга я мог тебя взять, но ты не моя. 